Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for Episode 7 of the Rush That Base Series. Today, we have a new Town Hall 11. It has been 23 days since we started this series, taking a Town Hall 7 up to Town Hall 11, and hopefully taking it to Town Hall 12 in the upcoming weeks, maybe. I don't think we're going to do it right away, because there's some things that we need to try to catch up on a little bit. Here's the problem with this base right now. This is the first time that I've ever played like this. I have never rushed a base, ever. I've always tried to stay within a certain Town Hall level, and then max it out, and then move on to the next Town Hall level. You know the deal this one's different it's intriguing to me it's different it's something completely new and it's far more challenging than what many might think so the biggest issue that we're running into right now is that our offense is still so very much behind and what i mean by that is that you look at the base you think yeah i'm a town hall 11 now and then you go on google and you type up and say the best strategy for town hall 11 and then you see armies like the minor armies and you see bowler armies and you see witch armies and then you go look at your camps and your army and you're like i can't carry half of that stuff nor can i train it so that's the problem that we're running into right this second so in this video we're going to talk about my next steps on moving forward but we have three builders that we need to put down in this episode this is the first time that those those dudes have been up there in the top sleeping in a long time those guys have been working non-stop like I'm, I'm just straight up grinding grinding i get a little bit of loot i'll put another builder down so i think I think we're going to go ahead and start out by putting down an army camp so here's the thing we just finished up our laboratory right lab is now equal to a town hall 10 lab and we have gotten all three of our other army camps up to level eight so we need to take this one up to level eight that way we can finish out our 240 troop capacity and then now that we're a town hall 11 now we can take the army camps up to level nine so that's also going to cost us about seven million elixir you see where the grind is like you have to continuously grind elixir in order to stay competitive offensively so that's why defenses defenses are so easy to do even though we are incredibly rushed and those defenses are so far behind it's not even funny they go a lot faster than what it takes to actually upgrade offense because gold is so much more in abundance than elixir you have to use elixir in order to steal elixir or you can use dark elixir really it's up to you personally but when you have all this dark elixir when you do all that farming and you're stealing dark elixir in reality you should probably be putting your heroes down and that's going to be one thing that we're going to do in this video as well is we got 60,000 dark elixir sitting there and we're going to put our queen down in this episode so we got one builder down on an army camp to take that one up to level eight and we are going to go ahead and drop an expo so we're going to finish up this with dropping an expo get rid of some of that gold that way when we go back out and farm again and steal some more gold we're not wasting our efforts and we're actually getting some gain for the return so we just spent two Two million gold on an expo and all we have left to build for our next uh, town hall upgrade would be let's see here we got a wizard tower that's all we have left is a wizard tower and the grand warden so the grand warden incredibly important but it's also six million so I have to kind of juggle here what am I gonna do right now am I gonna use that elixir rune that we collected from the clan games and get the grand warden or am I gonna put something down in the laboratory you see what I'm saying you see the dilemma it's like which is more valuable well, both are very valuable, so you have to kind of make a decision here. And right now, I'm kind of valuing upgrading my miners in the laboratory. That way, I can go ahead and get them up to level two, and we could possibly steal more loot. Does that make more sense? Like, it's like, what do you value? What are you going to do? And what is going to get us more loot? And obviously, a level one Grand Warden, there's only but so much you can do with a level one because he doesn't have an ability yet. So on that note, since I've mentioned it, we're going to go ahead and spend that Rune of Elixir that we got back in the clan games, and we're going to go ahead and fill up those storages again and put down our miners now i could do my barge but here's the thing about barge is it's just so incredibly boring and it just takes forever oh sweet we have a book of fighting so i guess we can go ahead and use that and get our level two miners now and now we have the ability to go up to level three so now i gotta go back and do some more grinding let's go ahead and get into a raid while we wait all right so we are going to go ahead and hit this base with a minor army now remember i only have one barracks that i can that can actually train the miners so i'm having to wait like 40 minutes for an army to train that's one difference between you and i is that if you are using a single base and you're playing as a rush player originally you have no other accounts then you're more than likely more beneficial to use a barch army i can afford to do this because i have multiple accounts that i play so i can train up this minor army just kind of forget about it for 
for a few hours and then come back and do some serious raids. But then I'm also doing a little bit of pushing as well. Right now we have worked our way up into gold one and we are chasing after the free gems that are available by completing the pushing series by going up in the Champions League. So you get 250 gems by going to Crystal League for the first time and then you also get like a thousand gems for going to Masters League and then you get like 2,000 gems for going to Champions League. I could be off on those numbers a little bit. I can't exactly remember because it's been a little while since we did the Town Hall 8 free to play series. All right, so we're using this queen in a little bit of a queen walk manner, but the difference is, or the biggest problem is, is that she is still a level eight queen. So she's not that strong and she cannot take on these defenses for too long. And that's where we kind of have to use our troops and try to benefit or use our miners in a way that we can make sure that we're still grabbing loot. There goes the queen, she is now down. And so now we're gonna have to switch over to our miners. So you see that you have to be very selective on the bases that you take on because you cannot queen walk until you get the queen level up high enough now once we get her up to like level 20 and level 30 that's where things are going to get a lot more easier for us and we'll be able to walk her for an extended period of time heck we could probably take down half of the base or maybe a quarter of the base with a queen walk alone a queen charge but the best thing about the miners that i like is that they are a very diverse troop for farming they can take out an entire dead base like this if they are high enough in level and right now we're working with the level twos so it's a little bit more easier than what it was before when we were using the level ones because we have those additional levels so you have to make sure that you're upgrading your troops all right so let's try to use our heal spells wisely oh yeah if you don't remember from the previous episode we did upgrade our spell factory and so now we do have an additional spell slot and we do have the ability to upgrade it again and gain another spell slot so we can grab another heal spell so we're going to have to be putting that down here in the very near future that way we can make our army a little bit stronger see how it's still very weak it's a very weak army until we gain more levels and i know some of you are probably thinking like we'll just use barge you know that's easier to do but I want to be able to take out full bases and continue to collect trophies. That way we can uh, gain those free gems. So we're going to go ahead and bail on this army. We did, in fact, uh, get the win, but we didn't get all of the loot off of it. Still a very nice raid. Let's go ahead and bail on that because that uh, miner will die. Nice little pool here, but let me show you those free gems and where to get them if you're not aware of that. All right, so while we wait for our army to train, I'm gonna talk about the items that are priority in order to move on to Town Hall 12. That way we can try to progress a little bit faster. It is not defenses. I'm not worried about defenses. We are doing a rushed base series. We're not trying to fix it yet. We're trying to get up to the highest level that we possibly can. That way we can unlock everything and just have everything at our current disposal. So you'll notice that we have all the barracks lined up. They are currently boosted. That is because I have a boost going on obviously but this is what i use my gems for and this is why i'm pushing up to crystal league right now that way i can gain those additional 250 gems to continue to boost my army that way i can continue to farm fast when i need to so the biggest priority right now is getting these level 10 barracks up to the same level as this bad boy right here we have one barracks that can train the miners we need all four of them to be able to train the miners that way we can kick out our army a lot faster than what we currently have it'll actually go from like 40 minutes down to like 20 minutes or something like that once we are complete i don't know the exact number on that i just don't recall exactly so another thing is is your heroes if you are doing a rush based thing you should still be upgrading your heroes and i understand that they take a long time and they take dark elixir but even though you're farming you're still collecting dark elixir and you can't try to say that you don't have any dark elixir because you're going to be collecting it whether you're stealing just gold and elixir or not so it's going a little nickel and diming is still going to pile up put it into your heroes that way you have the strength in the offense that you don't have on the defense if you if you think about it if you have a really weak defense you need to be really strong offensively that way you can try to make up for the fact that your base is going to get three starred in a clan war if you're trying to clan war as a rush player just something to think about and then also we need to make sure that we are also doing these army camps these army camps need to be maxed out that way we can mimic the armies that we see in strategies like we're using the farming army the minor farming army right now but we're not being able to use the full minor army because we don't have the full troop camp space that we are available as an actual town hall 11 or an actual town hall 10 so this is going to be the main priority that we're going to be doing for the next couple of days if not week because we need to get our offense caught up just a little bit that way we can try to steal more loot and the the results of these 
actions and upgrades will eventually be able to produce loot really really fast so also if you are not aware of those free gems that come from the game and you have not completed these tasks there is a achievement right here league all-star this league all-star produces a lot of gems so if you haven't completed this this should be a goal of yours that way you can obtain those free gems and use them wisely in the manner that you choose to use them i choose to use them to boost my army because i want to keep farming and keeping this series looking really good so on that note i think we have a full army let's go ahead and put our queen down for upgrade that way if we do come across any more dark elixir we can steal it and not feel about you know not feel bad about it not feel bad of leaving dark elixir left on the base when we don't have anywhere to put it so we're back down to 17,000 Dark Elixir, and I think we're going to finish up this video with one more raid. Alrighty then, we need to find ourselves a base. We've been selecting for a little while, but I want to show you what I'm looking for, because right now, we have to be very selective in the bases that we hit. I mean, maxed out bases like this, or very high level bases like this, don't even try to hit them. You are not going to be successful at all. I mean, you could try, but it's not going to be the results that you want to have. So this base right here, we just actually stumbled across it, and this is actually quite perfect. Everything is dead the expos are down the inferno towers are down we have some heroes alive but they're not that big of a threat especially against the miners so we can use our hero our one single barb king and i also got a pekka in the clan castle that we can use off to the flank that way we can try to clear up some buildings and try to keep our miners on course is what we want them to do is sweep the entire base so since we are not queen walking we dumped the healers and we added more miners i know that seems like a little bit of a redundancy but we're using more miners that that way we can gain more loot and try to sweep the entire base without the queen walk portion let's drop a heal spell here since we got to deal with a bomb tower right there and we got the pekka in there working against the king but unfortunately she's going to end up going down and we're going to go ahead and drop a rage spell here on our miners to take out that queen get rid of her really fast and try to keep these miners in the core on course towards the town hall we still want to at least try to get the win that way we're not losing a lot of trophies i don't want to lose a ton of trophies in this process let me go ahead and drop that balloon i don't even know why i got that balloon in the army anymore or the wall breakers so you don't necessarily need wall breakers or a balloon if you're not doing a queen walk so we we brought these for no reason i'm going to need to make sure that i go out and change the army when i'm done with this raid all right so our miners are in the core on the town hall looks like we've gotten some of the loot but not all of it and we could definitely use another heal spell this is kind of that 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 situation where you really need to get your uh spell factory upgraded because we haven't just we haven't done so yet we're still behind we're still got like a town hall 10 or a town hall 9 level spell factory all right so miners are in the core it doesn't look like they're doing very well you know what i mean like we still got high defenses that we're having to face off against they're not doing the best and we're out of heal spells to carry them on but they are going to secure the win and looks like they're going to get distracted just long enough let's go ahead and freeze these defenses and give them some time maybe no it's just not going to be enough it's just not going to be enough so again we pushed up to a, an area where we're starting to face off against higher defenses and it would pay to be down there in the bottom, you know, down in Silver League. You know, we could be down in Silver League and stealing, you know, dead bases and stuff like that down there. But we also need those gems. I really do need those gems. So that's going to be my focus. Maybe we'll see. I'll show it off in the next video. Hopefully we hit that Crystal League by next episode and we'll see what happens. But hopefully you got something out of this video today, guys. If you enjoyed the content, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you need any additional video support, click one of those links over over there. We will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.